The imaginary function within Excel allows us to extract the imaginary coefficient of a complex number. A complex number consists out of a real and an imaginary part, and this allows us to plot the complex number on the complex plane. On the complex plane, the x-axis represents the real part of our number, and the y-axis represents the imaginary part of our complex number. In column A, I have some complex numbers, and so when I use the imaginary function, while supplying it with a complex number, I will be extracting the imaginary coefficient of that number. The imaginary coefficient is whatever comes before the i in the complex numbers. So you can see 2i, so we get 2. Here we have i, which means 1 times i, so it's a 1. Here we don't even have an i, so it's like 2 plus 0i, that's why we get a 0. Here we have minus 2. So each time we extract the imaginary coefficient of our complex number. In other words, it gives us the y value of the coordinate of our complex number on the complex plane. Important to note is that a complex number within Excel is considered to be text or string, whereas if we extract a certain coefficient, be it the real coefficient or the imaginary coefficient of our complex number, that is actually considered to be a real number in both cases. So we can do our regular mathematical operations with these extracted coefficients. So we can do actual regular mathematical operations with these extracted coefficients. I could do 2 plus 1, and as you can see, that returns a result. Now, in electrical engineering, the i is oftentimes replaced with a j. So this 2 plus 2i could actually also be represented as 2 plus 2j. That doesn't change anything. The imaginary function will work in exactly the same way. We supply to it a complex number, this time with a j. I press enter, and as you can see, we still extract the 2 in front of the j. So if you ever need to extract the imaginary coefficient from a complex number, you can use the imaginary function in Excel. Thanks for subscribing and leaving an optional tip. Consider watching this video next.